I think it's really looking at those startup businesses. For Monica Villalobos, becoming the president of the Arizona Hispanic Chamber isn't about breaking barriers as a Hispanic woman. It's about being the right person for the job. She told me the organization is not political. They don't take a political stance. Their only goal is to help Hispanic businesses grow and provide them with the tools they need to thrive. Arizona is a small business state. 98% of all jobs come from small business. So we really need to help them scale and grow. Right now we're facing a perfect storm in Arizona. And that perfect storm is about minority owned businesses making significantly less than non-minority owned businesses in average annual revenues. So the Arizona Hispanic Chamber is all about helping those minority owned businesses scale through finding contracts, uh, financing, and job creation. When it comes to bridging that gap, Villalobos says there's a long way to go, but strength in numbers is what will help. Right now, Hispanic purchasing power in the state of Arizona is close to $50 billion. Um, so it's really a significant impact um, on our economy. Our small businesses are about $15 billion in an annual, average annual revenue. Um, there is a gap, though, and I talked about that perfect storm earlier. We know that minority-owned businesses are making, on average, 110000 in annual revenue. Non-minority-owned businesses are making about 500000 in annual revenue. That gap accounts for $36 billion that is not being realized in Arizona's economy because those minority businesses aren't scaling. The Arizona Hispanic Chamber is helping businesses scale by connecting them with key stakeholders from across the state. We have an investment relationship with 76 of the 90 Fortune 2000 companies in the state. We're able to take those funds and put them back into small business um, and help them find those contracts. That's really the biggest opportunity for Arizona. So welcome to the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We have a wonderful partnership with the Better Business Bureau. The chamber recently partnered with the BBB and they moved into their Ignite building. The facility offers networking spaces, access to the chamber's marketing and development staff, and capital funding sources. The Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce also operates the Minority Business Development Agency. This is a federal government office that's housed here. We operate the only one in Arizona, and they are one of the top performing centers. I'll bring you over here so you can meet the executive director, uh, Alika Kumar and she really works with businesses that are making over a million in annual revenue or in high growth areas. Um, and so we've got something for every level. So Alika, we're gonna pop in yeah, on you are. for just a little bit. Alika Hi, Kumar. So tell us a little bit about your services uh, back here, because I've met Izzy and he's explained a little bit. So yeah. what do you guys do in a nutshell? So we're business consultants in a nutshell. Uh, we, uh, we as, as Monica mentioned, we're funded by the Minority Business Development Agency. Uh, what we do is we provide access to capital, access to markets, help and guide with certifications, help companies team up, uh, and uh, generally help companies scale up their businesses. Oh, so, so pretty yeah. exciting. How, how can someone get a hold of you guys? Just should they go through the chamber and then work through you, or can they contact We do you? have a website, mm -hmm. uh, phoenixmbdacenter.com. And uh, they, yeah, they can come in through the chamber or directly through the website, um, or just look up the Phoenix MBDA Center. And how nice is it to be able to, to work with the Arizona Hispanic Chamber? It's wonderful. We've been housed um, uh, uh, with the uh, Hispanic Chamber since 1998. On September 20th of this year, the Chamber released their annual Datos Report. It's a sort of report card on the health, contributions, and growth of the Hispanic market in Arizona. Villalobo says it's always a big day. They want to give back to their yeah. community. Despite the enormous work that it takes to run the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, Villalobo says she's excited for this next chapter. From a, from a personal standpoint, how exciting is it to start this new venture? You know, um, I've been, I've served with the uh, Arizona Hispanic Chamber for seven years. I have um, an affection for the organization. I believe in our mission and the work that we do. And for me, as an entrepreneur, um, as a businesswoman, um, I, I, you know, am excited about representing all of those minority businesses that I know contribute so much to our state. In Phoenix, I'm Mike Gonzalez, 12 News.